Here we're going to make a credit scene for our game with rolling text and an image that pops in at the end. Let's get started. Go up here to the project manager. Let's add a new scene. Call this credits. And then we'll add a main menu scene as well. Now let's click on credits to launch that scene. Let's go ahead and make our scene properties background black. Click OK. Go down here to add a new object. We want to add a new text object. We're going to call this credits. And let's change the color. And for the text, I already pre-typed my credits. This will be whatever you wish to display in the credit screen. You can change the font size and also center the text. If you have a specific font file that you want to use, you would check that here. Click on the Behaviors tab and then click Add a Behavior. We're going to add the tween behavior. Click Apply. Drag your credits into your scene. And you can see that we have a nice long list of credits. Add a new object. Add a sprite. I'm just call this mask. Add an animation. Create with Pascal. Our scene is black, so just use black. Select the bucket and drop that in. Now rename this mask. Click Save and click Apply. Let's drag our mask in and then resize it so it takes up the bottom of the screen. The Z order of the text should be 1. The Z order of each mask, we want 1 high and low, should be 2. OK, and that's set. If you want a background image to come into your scene after the text has rolled up, then you're going to add a new sprite. Rename this as background. Add an animation. Add a sprite. Bring the background image in that you want to use. Click Apply. Drag in your background and resize it so that it makes sense for that scene. And be sure that the Z order is set to 3. We can also add a button. So click on Add a New Object. Select Panel Sprite Button and choose a button. It'll import that resource. Let's double click on this button, rename it as Menu. And down here for the initial text, we want Main Menu. Leaving the rest as default, click Apply. Drag your menu into your scene and resize it. You can add a new layer, call this UI, and then put the button on the UI layer. One final thing that we'll need to do is where do we want the credit screen to stop before our image is displayed? So make a note of the Y value and then bring this back down to where it should start. Let's go to the Events tab. Let's add a new event, add a condition, and we want at the beginning of the scene, click OK, and add an action. We want to hide the background. We want to hide that until we're ready to display it. Next, we will add a new condition. For this, we want to use trigger once. Click OK. Add an action. And for this, we want to tween the Y position. The tween identifier is made up by you. So whatever you choose to call this here, 
I'm just going to call mine move up. The 2y position is the negative 1157 that we took a note of. Your number is going to be different based on what you have going on. For easing, there's a lot of options, and there's a really good website, which I will include a link to the URL in the description. But this will give you an idea of what each easing function looks like. For this, because we're just scrolling the text up in this case, I played around with a lot of different options. I like linear the best. For duration, we can start with something like 6,000 and take a look at what that looks like. Click Preview. Let's get an idea. It seems pretty fast to me, so let's make that 9,000. Personal preference, depending on how much text you have in and which easing function you selected, yours might be different. Okay, so now we can add a new event. And for this one, we want tween has finished. Move up, click OK. We want to display our background. So click the background and let's click Show Visibility. So once the credits have finished scrolling up, there's our background. We can add some polish to this credit scene. Let's go ahead and add a few more events. Click here on Add a New Event, Add a New Condition. When the menu is clicked, click OK. The action will be to change scene. We only have a couple of scenes, but we want to choose the main menu. Click OK. And if you decide to have music in your scene, you can click here on Add an Action. Play a music file on Channel. And for this, you can import music. Click OK to bring it in. The channel identifier is usually one. For the volume, I like to start at 100. Click OK. And now you have music that plays. And if you click this main menu, you're taken to the main menu. So back to our credit events. Let's just add a little bit more polish. You could also stop the music. That will prevent wasted resources. And our channel identifier was 1. Click OK on that. So now when we change the scene, it will stop using the resources in the background. We could also center up our objects. So the credits, we could change the X position. Set two. And for this, we want scene window width divided by two minus the credits width divided by two. Click OK on that. And we can copy this. And instead of credits, we want the background. And you'll need to change it over here as well. And with the background, we would also want to change the Y position. Set to. It's going to be the scene window height divided by 2 minus the background height divided by 2. So that will center up our objects. And personal preference, I like to bring those up at the top just so I always know. Then I have my at the beginning of the scene actions that will happen. And you could also beginning of the scene, we're going to change the window title and just call it credits. Click OK on that. So now when we click 
preview, it changes the title. We have music playing, the text is scrolling, and when it's done scrolling, it'll display a background image. And when we click main menu, it will take us to the main menu. So one final thing that we can do is anchor our button here. So let's double click on that, click on the behaviors tab, add a behavior, select anchor, and let's choose this bottom left anchor. And we want the window left and also window bottom. Click apply on that. And now when you click preview and you resize the window, it moves and stays anchored to those two positions. You should now have a polished credit scene for your game. I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.